hidden inside my tires here is a little bit of magic that has been used in the Pro Peloton for a number of years and it's now finally made its way to the market. It's a tubeless insert for road tubeless tires and here is what they do, how to fit them and why you might want to consider buying some. Now before we take a closer look at the airliner, just a little reminder to pop a like on this video if you find these video reviews useful. Subscribe for loads more content from us and hit the bell icon to get notified when we post a new vid. Tubeless inserts themselves, they're nothing new. They've existed on mountain and gravel bikes for a number of years now and that's mainly because those disciplines have been much faster to adopt tubeless tyre technology. Vittoria is the first brand to have made inserts for road tyres, but you don't need to limit yourselves to Vittoria tyres. These will work with any tubeless ready road tyre. For mountain biking and gravel, the point of a tubeless insert is as follows. Firstly, they help to protect the rim against rock strikes. They also support the tyre's sidewall when running super low pressures, and that's great for grip. At those super low pressures, the insert will also help to stop the tyre from burping air. And finally, the dampening qualities of the tyre are said to be improved. That's a whole load of functional benefits that you can take advantage of on each and every ride. But what about the road side of things? While pressures have been coming down with wider tyres, we don't run those super low pressures of the off-road world. The answer to what the liner does on your day-to-day -day ride is absolutely nothing yep you really can't tell that they're in there at all while you're riding along when i raced on them at the weekend the bike felt no different and i still finished mid-pack like the bang average rider that i am in fact to start with i was actually cursing these fitting this system adds some considerable faff to the setup process and there are some considerations to make if you're using deeper wheels there's also the question of what you'd do if you'd punctured the tire beyond what the sealant could plug. The airliner is there to secure the bead of the tire into the bead hook, and it does a very good job of this. Getting the tire off on the side of the road would be an absolute nightmare. And then if you did get it off, you've then got a foam tube that is covered in nasty sealant to get home. It also costs a lot of money and you can't fit it and an inner tube into the tire. So what are you gonna do with it? Personally, I'd suggest that if you already think that tubeless is too much of a bother for you, and believe me, I totally get that, then this is definitely going to be a step too far, and I'd suggest sticking with your inner tube. So to start that video, that's hardly a ringing endorsement. But before I show you how to install a set of the airliners, there is the matter of the one massive reason that you should go and buy these, and that reason is safety. Where I mentioned before that the liner is there to keep the tire bead seated into the bead hook, I said that it did a very good job. And should you suffer a sudden loss of air while riding fast, you'll be thankful of that because these things are probably going to save you from crashing into a hedge or far worse. A tire with the airliner installed can be ridden and crucially cornered on at a very decent speed. For the pros, it means that they can ride the punctured tire just like they would with a tubular tire. The tire won't come off the rim, and so they can roll along while they wait for a replacement from the team car. But punctures don't just happen to the pros, and they don't just happen in races either. Plenty of riders that are just out for a nice ride or even tackling the sportive will puncture, and sometimes that can happen on a descent at rather high speed. Having the ability to ride safely until you can stop is really worth it in my eyes. Right, before we actually go outside and get into my ride impressions, we do need to show you how to install one of these things because there is a little bit of stuff to do over a standard system. First, you need your tire. Any uh, tubeless ready tire will do. Thankfully, you will need a tubeless ready rim, obviously. Um, half of it goes on the tire on the rim even as per usual that bit's quite easy you need the special valve with the side ports that just goes in again Ooh, right now is the time to tell you not to put sealant in this system at all before you've got the um, whole thing sealed don't do it. I've made such a mess. 
the first one I installed. So yeah, there's your warning. Uh, now we've got to put the airliner itself in. So this foam piece essentially is a little bit smaller than the rim. So it does have to stretch on. Um, and you're gonna have to kind of shimmy the second half of the tire on at the same time, which is a bit tricky, to be honest. So as you can see, it doesn't really want to sit on. Okay, so as you can see, all the liner is actually in the tire. It's like in, uh, installing a semi-inflated tire, which is why it's quite tricky. And now you're gonna wanna go around the tire and try and push the bead off of the, um, off of the bead seat, because essentially the air liner is pushing it onto the bead seat, you don't really want that. So if your tire is really troublesome and it keeps popping back on, can you use these little clips from Vittoria? They come in your kit and they help to keep the tire bead away from the bead hook on the rim. Um, so yes, we'll keep going. My tires go, oh, it's popped out again, but it's going on okay. <laughs> this is a faff. Success. While it is a bit of a pain to mount the tire, you do reap the rewards because um, once you go and put sealant in it, most of the tire is already seated. So when it comes to inflation, you should find things a lot more easy than a standard tubular setup. All right, I'm gonna put some sealant in now. I'm gonna use a very, very specific amount that I'm definitely going to measure. Do you screw it on? I think so. Do you screw it on? So the bottle screws on to the valve. bringing two pumps to the party because it should go up with a standard track pump. But if it doesn't, we'll get the uh, Bontrager flash charger involved. Okay. Oh! The sweet sound of success to get all the sealant around it, just as you would with a standard tubeless setup. But that's it. We're on, we're seated, and while the actual installation of the tire initially is a bit of a pain, as you can see, with a strand, standard track pump, goes up really easily. Seats really well. So yes, a bit more involved in installation, but has its benefits as well. To actually remove the tire, you will need this special tool. This comes in the pack that you get if you buy this as a set. And essentially this goes on either side of the tire. You squeeze the tire together, it pinches the beads together and that unseats it. You can do it with thumbs if your thumbs are really strong, um, but this does make the job a lot easier. If you're out on the road, obviously, that's quite a bulky tool to take with you. Um, so might want to practice getting the tire off with just your thumbs um, if you want to be able to fix one of these at the roadside. Oh. Well, that's enough hanging around in the office for one day. It's a nice day out here, finally. So uh, let's get into some ride thoughts.
Now, Vittoria is very keen to tell us that this system adds no rolling resistance over a standard uh, Vittoria Corsa G 2.0 TLR tire. That's kind of what I found. I found them to be very, very fast. On a normal, typical ride, you really don't notice that they're in there. My wheels are still fast. It's the way I like them. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and slash a perfectly good set of tires. So I've just let all of the air out to kind of show you what a hypothetical puncture looks like. And to be honest, they feel very, very squirmy with no air in. That's not really a surprise. Um, you would find with a complete flat that your wheels go in all over the place. The closest I can come to describe them is almost like running a cyclocross tubular tire in very heavy, heavy mud conditions. That's when you're gonna run something like 16 PSI, really, really low. The tire moves around underneath you and that's the feeling that you get. Now, personally, we've been riding around odd down, very good surface. I like these corners. I wouldn't really want to do an Alpine descent you know, in its entirety on a flat set of these, but in a pinch, it would allow you to kind of keep control of the bike and bring itself to a nice safe stop. I have though started to damage the sidewalls just a little bit. So I wouldn't really recommend uh, riding too far on a flat tire, especially if you're gonna be cornering a lot. Um, your best bet is gonna be to fix the tire. I wouldn't also go and practice like we have. Um, but yes, it is nice to know that even in some faster corners, the tire doesn't come off. So really, that's the safety element sorted. So back on the sofa. For racing and short, fast rides, I think these are a no-brainer. It's not a cheap upgrade. The kit here with uh, two airliners, the tool, valves, and sealant is $64.99 but they give you safety in the event of a blowout and there doesn't seem to be any performance or ride feel sacrifice. But for long rides, I'm not so sure. While you can ride a flat tire with the airliner, it is still a flat tire and pushing one along the road is hard work. If you've had a puncture a long way from home, you'd really be struggling to ride the deflated tire all the way back. To put an inner tube in, you'd have to get the tire off, which is super hard in the first place without the special tool. And even if you did, you've then got a sealant soaked foam tube to wrap around your shoulders like bike racers used to in the real olden days. Personally, a standard tubular setup that allows the easier insertion of a tube is a better bet for long distances. Well, there's our review of the Vittoria Airliner system. Really good for some situations, in my view, maybe not so good in others, but crucially, is it the system for you? Let us know down in the comments below. Now, if you like this video, remember to give it a little thumbs up, subscribe for more from us, and if you'd like to get notified when we post a video, you can press the bell icon. See you in the next one.